So, okay, let's talk about the tides. This is a map of Australia and it has information on the tide. There is two pieces of information. There is colors, color, different colors. One is on the seaside of the coast and one is on the land side of the coast. So let's look at one first. Let's look at the one which are on the marine side. These colors here you get green. Let's look at the green. What does that mean? It says tight type. These are the colors here. And it says the green means diurnal. Okay, so these colors that go around tell you whether you have essentially two high tides during the day or only one for more information on the tides have a look at the tutorial the video of my tutorial on time and i say it, it, it anyway essentially it says here of southwest australia you have diurnal tides you get a one tidal maximum per day okay? and on the other end you get some semi diurnal are the ones which 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 are here in, in in red okay so that's not really relevant that information we need the other bit of information which are the tidal ranges tidal ranges here next to my head you can see there is the ones which are in uh, purple less than one meter tidal range extreme is in green and this this bright green here exceeding eight meters so on the northwest shelf, just because the color is on land does mean that the tides are on land. This is just indeed tides in the ocean, tidal range, eight meters, and the range is from the maximum to the minimum. That's the tidal range. Exceeding eight meters in this region, you get big tides here, which are semi diurnal in this region, and the other extreme is you have low tides. You know, very almost absent tides here in the in the lower southwest. Okay, with uh, less than one meter tidal range, and then if you look at really low tides along the south coast, except Spencer Gulf stands out with with re relatively high high tides inside Spencer Gulf, the upper reaches of Spencer Gulf. Okay, will also be discussed in the in the tutorial. All right, so these are the tides. And you already have an idea of where the tides are weak and then where are the tides extremely strong, so where you have the potential to create maybe vertically mixed. It depends on how much fresh water flows into the system. Okay, so now the second um, piece of information is rainfall. So let's have a look at the median summer rainfall for Australia. Okay, let's have a look at that. And you get the big tropical rainfall in the north of Australia with up to, um, with almost a, a meter, okay, for that, for that season, a meter of rainfall. So you get an, an immense amount of rainfall. And this goes through the catchments into the surface flow into the rivers, back into the ocean. That's what we call the, the water cycle. You can also see that you can see some rainfall here along the eastern uh, coast of Australia. Okay. And you have some enhanced in Tasmania here on the, on the, on the western side. So now let's switch to the other season. We have the medium winter rainfall for Australia. So this is winter. And you can see that the northern um, central and northern part of australia is the dry is the dry season almost no rainfall and note that here the 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 units are not linear okay so you have a non-linear units here not a linear units you get some rainfall you get the rainfall along the southern coastline southwestern australia okay in the victoria and and, and south australia Okay. So now you can compose 
this information, put it into a table, and then work out what type of S3 do you get. This will come in the next, on the next slide, okay? So are you ready?